for me, it was uh, breaking away that uh, when that came along, I went in to read and see Peter Yates. And uh, for some reason, thank God for Peter Yates. And because I, I don't think I would have had the career if, if, if it wasn't for him. He really taught me about film acting, about what, about what it was, about just being. He, he taught me how to be small and how to be still. And, uh, and you know, because I'd come from university theater. And he was a great mentor and father, Peter Yates, to all of us. And uh, what a great director. And he was. Thank God for him. But that, that role sort of changed everything that uh, from going from job to job to when we were talking about having, having choices finally in, in your career. For me, it was uh, Sunday in the Park with George, uh, Steve Sondheim, and James Lapine's piece. Um, I was quite terrified. I was never a good auditioner. Um, I had just won a Tony Award for a Vita, and then Lapine comes over to my house and says, I have to audition for Sondheim. And I th said, well, why? I mean, don't you get anything for winning one of these awards? <laughs> I'm not a good auditioner. It's going to be a disaster. And then Steve called me up and said, everybody auditions for me except Angela, who I've worked with several times. So I go in, I'm a nervous wreck, and I end up getting it. And uh, within that piece were the repetitive words, connect, George, connect. And those became, uh, that's what I want on my tombstone. He tried to connect. Uh, that is what I live my life to try to do. And it also s introduced me to Stephen's work, Sondheim's work, and it became my life. Uh, I'm not a writer. If I could write, I would write every word he says. But his writing and his world is about turning darkness into light. Uh, and that is what my need is, to turn my darkness into light. And it, uh, he gave me the gift of my life. Uh, and so I don't know what I would have done without that. Wow. It's a tough act to follow. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else have a pivotal role? I, I tell you what was pivotal for me was a decision that Jeff made because... I wondered if you were going to bring this up. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff was doing a play called Lemon Sky off-Broadway. And uh, Cynthia Nixon was also in the, in the play. And they wanted to shoot it for PBS, for public television, for um, American Playhouse. And they offered both of them the parts and they turned them both down. And my wife took Cynthia's part, and I took Jeff's part. So I really have him to thank for my marriage. So it wasn't really exactly a decision, of, a career decision of mine, it was more a career decision of his that was pivotal for me. Was I invited to the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I was very happy to be I mean, I, I, mean I, think, I think Peter Russo in, in, in House of Cards is, it, it, I mean, it's weird to say that because I haven't really done much since, but um, uh, it, it, for me, uh, it was the most complete person I've ever played. You know, I mean, and to have that much material, uh, and, you know, and to be, to have that, those kinds of highs and those kinds of lows, to, to be that ugly, to have the opportunity to be that ugly and to not have to, uh, please the audience, you know, I mean, I think that's one of my worst habits is that I, I, I want everybody to like me. And I, that, you know, when I see that in, in, uh, in my own work, I, I know that I'm, I'm cutting off the edges. Um, and I, you know, I wasn't allowed to do that with this character. Um, and, and yet there was also this sort of sublime, uh, you know, reaching for something. So, uh, you know, time will tell how, how pivotal it is in terms of my own development. Um, but in terms of what I was able to, to bring to the table, I've never been able to do that much in, in one role.